All right, everyone, get ready because today we're diving deep into something you're constantly dealing with, but probably don't give much thought to <laughs> your medical records. Yeah, those things. But more specifically, we're going to be looking at Epic, one of the most used systems out there. Definitely one of the big ones, yeah. You know that dream where your medical info just magically follows you wherever you go? Right. Well, Epic is kind of making that happen. It's getting us closer, for sure. It's yeah. way more than like just a digital file cabinet, though. Right, I was just thinking that. We're talking like a whole connected system of tools designed to make every single step of your healthcare like journey yeah, smother. Yeah. From making that appointment you've been putting off yeah. to handling like super complex treatments. Yeah, the sources we've got for this episode mention all sorts of different epic modules. Right. And it's a little overwhelming, to be honest. Yeah. Kind of like walking into a giant tech toolkit. And you're like, where do I even begin? It's a lot. <laughs> it is. It is a lot. Um, so where do we begin? Great question. Think of it like building a house. You got to start with the foundation, right? Right. Yeah. So in Epic's world, that's Epic Care. Okay. You've got Epic Care Ambulatory for, you know, when you go to your regular doctor for checkups. Yeah. And then there's Epic Care Inpatient for those times when you need to stay in the hospital. Okay. So different tools for different situations. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. But then things get like kind of interesting with names like ASA. Beacon, Cupid. Yeah. It sounds more like a superhero team than medical software. I mean, in a way, they kind of are like mm. superheroes in the healthcare world, right? Yeah. Each one of those modules is like a specialist, you know, zeroing in on a particular area of medicine. Okay. Take ASA, for instance. It's built for like that crazy, fast paced, high pressure environment of the ER. It helps doctors, you know, quickly get to the critical info they need to make those like life or death decisions. Okay, that's pretty impressive. But with so many like specialized modules, how does Epic make sure they all play nice together? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like how do they not just end up as like separate islands of information? That's where the real beauty of Epic's design comes in. Yeah. It's all about connection. Think of it like a network of roads that connect different cities, yeah. right? Okay. You got modules like Healthy Planet, which focus on like managing the health of entire populations. Uh -huh. And then you've got my chart, my chart, yeah, which is like the bridge between you and all your medical info. Yes, it lets you schedule appointments, message your doc, even look at your lab results. Yeah, all from your couch. Right? All from the couch. Yeah. Oh, I love my chart. I use it all the time to book appointments and sneak a peek at those test results. Definitely a win for convenience. Oh, for sure. But what about when you need to see a specialist who might be using a totally different system? Yeah. That's always been a major headache for me, you know, like sharing records between different providers can feel like navigating a maze. It's so frustrating. Yeah, you're right. You're hitting on a huge problem in healthcare. Yeah. Interoperability, it's called. And it's something Epic is really tackling head on. Okay. One way they do it is through those like industry standards. Mm -hmm. Think of them as like universal translators for medical data, right? Okay. These standards, they have names like HL7, FHIR, and DICOM. And they make sure different computer systems can, you know, understand each other, even if they're speaking different languages. So it's like having like a universal language for health data. Yeah, exactly. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. But even with like a common language, don't you still need like a platform to actually exchange that info securely? Absolutely. That's where Epic's own interoperability platform comes in. Okay. It's called Care Everywhere. Care Everywhere. Catchy name, right? Yeah. It allows for the secure exchange of patient data between different organizations, even if they're using totally different electronic medical record systems. Wow, that's pretty amazing. But what about like smaller practices that might not have the resources for a big fancy system like Epic? Yeah. Do they just get left out? Not necessarily. That's where Epic Community Connect comes into play. Okay. It's like um, like an on-ramp for those smaller practices. Okay. It lets them connect to the bigger Epic network and get involved in beta sharing and care coordination on a much larger scale. So are we starting to see like a picture of a truly connected healthcare system? We're getting there. Definitely making progress. Yeah, this is really interesting. But you know me, I'm a big believer in learning by example. Can we walk through a real life scenario sure. to see how this all plays out for an actual patient? Let's do it. Okay. So let's imagine a patient, we'll call her Sarah. She's going for a routine checkup with her primary care doc, Dr. Lee, who uses Epicare Ambulatory. During the visit, 
Sarah mentions this cough she's had that just won't quit. So pretty standard doctor visit so far. Yeah, pretty typical. But I'm guessing this is where Epic starts to shine. You got it. Okay, tell me more. So Dr. Lee wants to check things out, you know, so he orders a blood test using Epic's beaker module. Uh -huh. Now, here's the cool part. The order goes directly to the lab electronically. No more paper forms. Nope. No more paper forms, no manual entry, less chance of errors right from the get-go. Streamlining things already. Exactly. What about that cough, though? Oh, yeah. Can't forget the cough. I'm assuming Dr. Lee wants to take a closer look at what's going on there. For sure. He orders a chest x-ray using Epic's Radiant module. Okay. This module helps with scheduling the x-ray and handles like the, the whole imaging process. Uh -huh. And once the x-ray is done, the images go straight to Sarah's Epic record, safe and sound. Okay. Dr. Okay. Lee can see him with just a couple of clicks. So now all the information starting to like come together in one place. Exactly. Makes it way easier for Dr. Lee to get the full picture of Sarah's health, right? Exactly. And this is where having that unified system like Epic really starts to make a difference, especially when things get a little unexpected. Ooh, unexpected. Uh, yeah. Okay, I need to know more. What happens next? All right. So a few days after her appointment, Sarah gets hit with this sudden, really bad chest pain lands her in the ER. Oh, no. Now, thankfully, the hospital she's taken to also uses Epic. Okay. Specifically, they use the ASP module. Right, the one you mentioned before. That's the one. Okay. Now, at this point, having all of Sarah's recent medical info readily available is absolutely critical, right? Yeah, I was just thinking that. It could be life or death. Absolutely. The ER team can instantly access her visit with Dr. Lee, including those blood test results, and the chest x-ray images. That's incredible. No more waiting for records to be, like, transferred or having to repeat tests. Nope, it's all right there. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Right. It really shows how valuable a connected system like Epic can be. Yeah. When vital info can be shared so easily between, like, different care settings. This is seriously impressive, but what happens to Sarah after the ER? Okay, so she needs more tests, and they want to keep an eye on her, so they admit her to the hospital. And here's where another EPIC module kicks in, EPICare Inpatient. Okay, so another tool, another scenario, but still all part of that same connected system. Exactly, and all the info from the ER visit goes right over to her inpatient record. So smooth. It was. No more trying to piece together bits of information from different sources or playing phone tag with different providers. Nope, it's all right there. This is remarkable. I am so blown away by all of this. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, this is amazing. It is. It's the future of healthcare in action, you know? It really feels like it. But I think we've covered a lot of ground for now. Yeah, we have. So we left off with Sarah getting admitted to the hospital, her epic record following right along with her. This is where having a unified system really makes a difference, especially when you need to bring in specialists. Okay, so let's say the doctors want to get a cardiologist to look at Sarah's heart since, you know, she was having those chest pains, do they need to create, like, a whole new set of records for the cardiologist? Not at all. Let's say the cardiologist, Dr. Patel, gets called in. He uses Epic Cupid, which is the cardiology module, and bam, he has Sarah's entire history right there at his fingertips. Wow. He can see the blood tests, the chest x-ray, the notes from the ER, the notes from her primary care doc. It's all there in one place. I'm really starting to see why having all this interconnectedness is such a big deal. Oh, yeah. No more waiting for faxes or playing phone tag. Exactly. It's got to be a relief for everyone, the doctors, Andy, Sarah, knowing they're all on the same page. It definitely makes things easier. And remember, it's not just about viewing information. Mm. Dr. Patel can order more tests, write his notes. Everything gets added right into that central epic record. This level of coordination is, like, especially crucial for complex cases. And speaking of complex, let's say those tests reveal something concerning. Okay. Like a suspicious spot they find on Sarah's lung. Now she needs to see an oncologist. Does the system keep up? Absolutely, no problem. Dr. Kim, the oncologist, would use Epic Beacon, which is their oncology module. And yep, you guessed it. All of Sarah's information, from those initial checkup notes to the cardiologist's findings, it's all there for Dr. Kim to look over. Okay, this is amazing. I'm blown away by how this all works together. But it's easy to get lost in all the technical details, right? Yeah. What does all of this actually mean for a patient like Sarah, especially in a situation like this? Well, for one thing, it means less repetition for Sarah. Okay. She doesn't have to keep explaining her symptoms or her whole medical history to every new doctor she sees. That makes sense. It also means faster diagnosis and treatment because everyone has all the information they need right away. 
and maybe most importantly, it really cuts down on the risk of errors or things getting overlooked that can happen when all the information is scattered across a bunch of different systems. That peace of mind, you know, knowing all her doctors have the full picture, that's going to be huge for Sarah. It is. Especially when she's dealing with something as serious as, you know, a potential cancer diagnosis. Right, exactly. But it's important to remember that Sarah's not just a passive patient in all of this. Oh. Epic is really focused on patient empowerment, too. Remember my chart? My but chart, yeah. It's not just for booking appointments. Sarah can use it to message her doctors directly, see her test results, even get educational materials about her condition all on her own time. So it's not just about doctors having all the access. Right. It's also about giving patients more control and helping them understand their own healthcare journey. Exactly. That's the goal. I love that. And it goes beyond just individual patients, too. Mm -hmm. Remember that Healthy Planet module? That's where Epic gets really powerful on a much bigger scale. Okay, so now we're thinking bigger than just Sarah's individual experience. Yeah. Tell me about how Healthy Planet works. So imagine healthcare providers being able to actually see trends in their patient populations. Like, are flu cases going up? Uh -huh. Are certain groups of people not getting their screenings? Healthy Planet lets them analyze all that data so they can spot problems early and maybe even start specific programs or campaigns to address them. It's like having this amazing tool to get ahead of health problems, not just react to them after well, they happen, right? Exactly. And it's all powered by the data flowing through the EPIC system. Every appointment, every lab test, every prescription, it all goes into this giant pool of information that can be used to improve healthcare for everyone. This is making me feel really hopeful about the future of healthcare. It's pretty exciting stuff. But let's be realistic for a second. No system is perfect. What are some of the challenges or like downsides of relying so heavily on technology like Epic? Well, one big concern is data privacy and security. We're talking about really sensitive personal information here. So Epic has to have some really strong safeguards in place. Yeah, a data breach involving medical records would be a disaster. So how does Epic address that? They use things like encryption, really strict access controls and regular audits to make sure that only authorized people can view patient data. And they're always updating their security to stay ahead of any threats. Okay, that makes me feel better. But even with top-notch security, I imagine there's a learning curve for both patients and providers, you know, when it comes to using a system as complex as Epic. Oh, absolutely. Training and support are key. Mm -hmm. Epic has a whole team dedicated to helping hospitals and clinics implement the system and make sure everyone knows how to use it the right way. And speaking of implementation, isn't there a risk that smaller practices might get left behind? Yeah, it's a valid concern. Especially if they don't have the resources for a big system like Epic. That's true. Yeah. But that's something we touched on earlier with Epic Community Connect. It's designed to help bridge that gap and allow those smaller practices to connect to the larger Epic network so they can still benefit from data sharing and coordinated care. It's really amazing to think about how this one system can affect so many different aspects of healthcare, from individual patients to entire communities. But can we get even more specific? Can we actually see how all these pieces work together in a real life example? Absolutely. Let's go back to Sarah's story. We left off with her being admitted to the hospital. Now we can see how her journey unfolds and how Epic helps coordinate every step of her care. Okay, let's dive back into Sarah's story and see what happens next. Okay, so we're back with Sarah. She's in the hospital, and her EPIC record is right there with her. What happens next? So, remember that suspicious spot on her lung? Yeah. <laughs> the doctors want to be thorough, you know, so they schedule a biopsy. Okay. And this is really where EPIC's integration shines. I bet they don't have to start from scratch with paperwork and scheduling and all that. Nope, not at all. The doctor can order the biopsy directly through EPIC. Wow. They use a module like Radiant to schedule it and get everything coordinated with radiology. Uh -huh. All the details from Sarah's medical history to the exact location of that spot on her lung, it's all right there in the system. So it's not just about having the information, it's about using that information to like guide every step of her care. Exactly, that's the key. And once the biopsy is done, the results are immediately available in Sarah's EPIC record. Her whole care team can see them. This is amazing. It feels like we're talking about a level of efficiency and coordination that was just unimaginable a few years ago. It's a huge step forward, for yeah. sure. And it has a real impact on patient outcomes, too. Think about it. Mm -hmm. If Sarah's biopsy shows cancer, her oncologist can start working on a treatment plan right away. Yeah. No waiting for records or anything like that. That time saved could be 
like crucial, especially with something as serious as cancer. Absolutely. And remember, Sarah's not just sitting around waiting for things to happen. She's using my chart to stay in the loop and involved every step of the way. So she's not just a number in the system. She's an active participant in her own care. Right, exactly. She can message her doctors if she has questions. She can look at her test results, even access information about her condition and what her treatment options are. All on her own time. All on her own time, right from her hospital bed. I love that Epic gives that kind of control and transparency to patients. It must make a really stressful situation a little bit easier to handle. It definitely can. Mm. And as Sarah's treatment goes on, Epic keeps playing a crucial role behind the scenes. Let's say she needs chemotherapy. Okay. Her oncologist can use Epic Beacon to create a treatment plan just for her. Uh huh. They take into account her specific diagnosis, her medical history, any potential problems with medications, the whole picture. So it's not just a cookie cutter approach. Nope. It's totally tailored to Sarah's needs. That's great. And Beacon can even send alerts to her care team, reminding them about appointments, medication schedule, side effects to watch out for. It's pretty amazing. It's like having a super smart assistant working with the doctors, making sure nothing gets missed. Exactly. And as Sarah goes from the hospital back home, her epic record goes with her. So her primary care doc, her specialists, anyone involved in her care can see the same up-to-date information. This is the future of healthcare. But let's zoom out a bit and think about the bigger picture. We've been talking a lot about individual patients like Sarah, but what does a system like Epic mean on a larger scale? That's a great point. When you have a system like Epic that's gathering data from millions of patients and connecting it all together, it creates some amazing opportunities for research and public health. Okay, so now we're talking about using data to help not just one person, but entire populations. Exactly. Researchers can use that data from Epic, without any identifying information, of course, to study things like disease patterns, how well treatments are working, even pinpoint risk factors for different conditions. And that can lead to new breakthroughs. It can. New breakthroughs in preventing, diagnosing, and treating all kinds of health problems. And those breakthroughs can help so many people. This is amazing. It's like Epic is not just changing healthcare; it's driving medical progress. It's a powerful tool. And we're only just scratching the surface of what it can do. Yeah. As more and more healthcare providers adopt systems like this and data sharing keeps expanding, I think we'll see even bigger leaps forward in healthcare in the years to come. I am definitely feeling more optimistic about the future of healthcare after learning all about Epic. But before we wrap things up, any final thoughts for our listeners? Yeah, it's important to remember that while Epic is a powerful tool, it's still just that a tool. The human connection between a patient and their doctor is still the most important thing in healthcare. Absolutely. Technology can make things easier and improve care, but it can't replace human empathy and compassion and that personal touch that's so important for healing. Couldn't have said it better myself. And for all you patients out there, it's more important than ever to be proactive about your health. Ask questions, speak up for yourselves. Tools like MyChart give you the power to be informed partners in your own healthcare journey. So to sum it all up for our listeners, Embrace technology like Epic, but never forget the importance of that human connection. Well said. And keep asking questions. The more we understand about these systems, the better we'll be able to navigate them and advocate for ourselves and the people we care about. This has been an incredible deep dive into the world of Epic. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us and for showing us what a more connected, patient-centered future for healthcare can look like. It's been my pleasure. I'm always happy to talk about healthcare technology and how it can make a real difference in people's lives. And to all our listeners, thanks for joining us on this journey. We hope you learned something new and feel inspired to explore the world of healthcare technology even further. Until next time, stay curious and take care.